What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking about 90 Day Fiance. This is Happily Ever After, Season 4, Episode 9. And the title of this episode is The Truth Comes Out. This is going to be an early release. This is part one of the early release for this coming up Sunday. Trying to keep these videos rolling for you guys, so let's get straight into it. Let's start off with Colt and Larissa. So Larissa has been released from jail and Colt says regardless to what happened between them, he wants her home. So Larissa did get in the car with Colt once she left the detention center, but Colt says that she was quiet the whole ride home and didn't say anything to him. Colt goes upstairs trying to act like, you know, he's this sweet and caring, you know, loving husband, and she obviously doesn't want to be bothered by him. When he tries to caress her hand, she pulls from him saying, no Colt, don't do this please. Colt says the past couple of days, he's been afraid and exhausted. In the next scene, he's getting into his car and going to pick up his mother, Debbie. She's coming back home from her vacation. Debbie says, when she heard Larissa was in jail for domestic violence, she was afraid for her son. She adds that she hopes this is the final straw and that Larissa gets deported. When they pull up to the house, Debbie discovers a huge hole in the screen of her bedroom window. Colt tells her Larissa cut it. He also says that Larissa was in her drawers. Let's move on to Ashley and Jay. So Ashley has noticed a local girl has been leaving comments under a lot of Jay's pictures. Since Jay spends most of his time at the barbershop, Ashley decides to reach out to the owner to see if they would possibly be able to disclose information. They, in response, say they needed to tell her something. So Ashley heads over to the barbershop. When Ashley arrives, the two guys tell her to have a seat. One of the barbers says that he hates that he's put in this situation. It's very uncomfortable situation, but he has a daughter, so he would want someone to let her know because no one deserves to get played. The owner drops a bomb on us and says that Jay disrespected his barber shop. He allowed him to do tattoos there. And one day he took a client, a quote unquote client into the bathroom and was doing, you know what, in the restroom. The owner and Jay got into a confrontation and the owner shows the video of him basically roughing Jay up. And the owner added that he didn't feel as though Jay respected him or the opportunity he was given to do something positive for himself. What makes it even worse is Ashley has met the girl. When she leaves out and starts crying, one of the barbers comes outside and says, you actually have met the girl. She was at a cookout. So I guess they all had a function, a cookout. Ashley came along with her husband and she was introduced to this young lady. So that's what makes it even worse that this woman knows, he knows, but she didn't know. Everybody knew but her. Very embarrassing. I mean, I will be really ready to strangle him. I'm just keeping it real. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts about Ashley and Jay. Let's move on to Chantel and Pedro. It's the next morning after Chantel's argument with Nicole and Pedro says that he stayed with his mother because he didn't want to stay with Chantel. He adds that the only reason he comes back to the hotel is to see if Chantel stayed or if she left. Chantel says it's hard to have Pedro's back when he doesn't have hers. She adds that she thinks they both want the same thing and that's each other's support. Let's move on to Elizabeth and Andre. So Andre's dad is arriving from Moldova. So they decide to FaceTime him before his flight. Elizabeth says he'll be staying with them for two months. During the FaceTime call, Andre uses that opportunity to tell his dad that there was some drama at the baby shower. Later, they get news that Andre's father's flight had been canceled and that 
he's in New York. Andre says that he's going to fly to New York to get his dad. And the whole time I'm thinking, well, what money? Elizabeth wants to call her dad and get his debit card, but Andre says no. He tells her that she needs to help him and stop sabotaging him over $600. This jerk then says the best thing for her to do is just gather his bag and pack clothes for him. I mean, he is such a disrespectful jerk. That's this the only way I know how to really sum it up. You guys can comment down below what you think about him, but he is so disrespectful and I just don't see how she got caught up with this dude because he doesn't hide. It's not like he changed. I'm sure this dude has been the same since she met him. What you see is what you get from him. There's no way he can just hide all of that jerk in him. He is a freaking jerk. I just cannot stand him. And you know, normally when I come up here, I'm very neutral. I try to be very neutral and, you know, a little bit kind to these people, but somebody like him, I would want to just like knock him out, like knock him clean out <laughs> because he is a jerk. Like the way he talks to her, but then again, she chose him. And then again, she married him. And then again, she got pregnant by him. So she's foolish too. So moving on, because I'm getting frustrated. Moving on, let's go back to Russ and Pal. So Pal is in labor and her mother is still not in agreement with her birth plan. She wants her daughter to go to the hospital. Two hours pass, then four hours pass, and the baby is coming out at an angle, the midwife says. So they're having to have have Pal change different positions to realign the baby. Russ looks scared out of his mind. His eyes are bucked. He's looking at the midwife like, do you know what you're doing? The mama's shaking her head, having a fit. They're from downstairs into the water pool to upstairs on the bed. It's just a lot going on. And ew, I'm wondering, did she truly plan for it? You know, by sitting and talking with the midwife, her and her husband going to talk to a midwife so they both will feel comfortable during the time. When the time came for this to happen, I just... I don't know, I just feel like this was some spirit of the moment that she decided to do. This making me nervous too. She's in pain, she's saying I can't do this. You know, the girl, I don't know, she might need to go to the hospital. So we'll see if she makes it through. But Pal is a pretty strong woman. I have no doubt she can do it. It's just hard to watch. Let's move on to Ashley and Jay. So Ashley calls Jay to expose him. He plays this game of hanging up the phone in her face and then decides to answer and then tell her everything. He says that everything that she heard is true. Ashley tells him if he shows up to her house, she's calling the police on him. Then she changes up and is like, if you need to get your clothes, you better come and get them, but you ain't coming in my house. I have everything basically on the grass for you, for you to come pick it up, but you're not coming in my house. If you come in my house, I'm calling the police. Let's go back to Chantel and Pedro. So even though Pedro Pedro came back to the hotel and decided to then leave again. Chantel decides to still stay in the DR. Chantel decides to meet with her friend, Obed, who was actually a family friend of Pedro's family. Obed says that he feels it was a setup and that Pedro's mom arranged Pedro to meet Chantel for them to fall in love, to get married for that good old green card. I need to hear you guys' thoughts on this early premiere, early release of 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. This is season four, episode nine. Again, the title is The Truth Comes Out, and this is part one. So we're going to see part two on this Sunday. I hope that you guys enjoyed this early release of this video. Let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up, sharing it with a friend who also loves watching 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After after. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified on the next time that I make an upload. And my rumor has it official besties. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.